Donnie regularly sees what he thinks is a shadow person in his home. It's always in the basement, always coming from the corner of his eye, and always going way too fast to be a normal person. He can feel its anger downstairs, and he knows that it wants to do him harm. Donnie decides to put music on blast to see what kind of reaction he can get on camera. After 20 minutes, this shadow can take no more and races upstairs, causing these lights to move. Soon the same angry feeling returns, and Donnie knows that it's back. He starts recording down a dark hall, and these bottles move on their own. You are not welcome here. You and I both heard them fall, but no one else is around to knock them over. At least nobody that I could see. And just around the corner are the stairs leading down to the dark, cold basement. Of all the scary creatures I've seen, this unknown underwater sighting is probably one of the weirdest. Check out this creepy video uploaded on March 20th of 2012 from a cheap cell phone in terrible weather. So unfortunately, the resolution isn't that great. Anyway, the skies darken overhead, as if heralding the arrival of something dreadful from beneath the ocean waves. That's when this strange sighting is caught on tape, and I'm not sure what it is. A whale's head, the tentacle of a giant creature perhaps, or maybe something even scarier. A creature slaps the boat deck and then goes underwater, with a 9 to 1 like to dislike ratio. Most people seem to believe this scary video is real, but I can't say I agree. Here's my analysis. Like so many others, I too thought it was a giant creature sighting at sea until I noticed something strange at 9 seconds into the video. Pool railings, or so I suspect. If I'm correct, then this must have been taken at a swimming pool, not a boat like the title says. So either this was a strange creature sighting in a pool, or, and this is what I'm going with, it's merely footage of an aquarium show edited to look scarier than it was. This kind of looks like the tank of a killer whale, so maybe this was taken while training one. If this is fake, then congratulations to the maker of this video for fooling tens of thousands of people into believing believing it was real, and going after a boat, me too at first, at least until some further analysis. Throngs of people gather in the mountain province of Guizhou, China, to witness strange trumpet sounds in the sky. As you listen, tell me what this is and why it would happen way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> The group hears four strange noises in a row, and yet none of them actually sees anything scary in the sky. But that's not all. The phenomenon known as sky trumpets is only the first phase. Soon the mountain range is filled with the sounds of a giant unknown creature, an enormous wildcat that's heard all over but seen by no one. <laughs> And the final phase sounds like two giant creatures clashing. There's a clear victor, and one of them sounds like they are falling from the sky. Modern science cannot explain what's behind these noises, which makes you wonder if there's any semblance of truth behind the various ancient mythologies that speak of similar events. Basements are built to house all the evils of the world. This basement is no exception. Published by YouTuber Mr. Vujade in February of 2012, this frightening basement monster will scare the living daylights out of you. The short clip sees our protagonist heading downstairs into a creepy dark basement. As he slowly searches the space, it appears empty, apart from a few piles of storage items, some bicycles, the usual suspects in a basement. But then suddenly he turns which is when he is confronted by this. I'm never going down there again, the YouTuber writes. Who can blame him? I don't think I could ever work up the courage to explore that basement. These explorers are checking out a haunted church in Britain called St. Botuf's Church, which is said to be guarded by the spirit of a passed away monk. The weather is fine at first, but within a minute of stepping out of the car, it becomes cloudy and grey, as if to signify they do not belong here. 
Here at 2 minutes and 34 seconds, you can see everyone standing outside as they peruse the cemetery. And it isn't until 2 minutes and 47 seconds that they go inside. With this in mind, tell me how they record this shadow figure. Walk across the church at 2 minutes and 22 seconds, a full 20 seconds before any of them enter. An abandoned school that served as a German headquarters a long time ago. A ghostly female apparition spotted in the window. This dilapidated site is ripe for exploration. Originally published by Dark Ghost Paranormal, this scary video follows Dennis as he takes on the challenge. Using a spirit box, Dennis tries to find out what is going on here. The spirit box immediately informs him that a spirit is here. She says that he doesn't know her. After asking if she burnt the place down, she answers in the affirmative. <laughs> She also says, they did it to me, they burned me. And Dennis is told they're in the basement, whoever they are. Dennis heads inside to have a look. After asking for a sign of the spirit's presence, he is given one. Down in the basement, he finds something like a bunker. While speaking with the spirits, a box makes a noise in the corner. His lights go out, and he hears mysterious knocks in the room. He tries the door at the end of the room, but it seems shut tight. When he asks the spirits through the spirit box what they want from him, they have a simple answer. After the spirits warn him to leave, and the lights go out again. Suddenly, he looks up to find the door open. He gathers his stuff and gets out of there in the nick of time. Another camera on the outside of the room captures the door opening on its own. Is this the spirit of whoever set fire to the lady in the window? Or is it the lady herself? This scary highway encounter would have easily gone unnoticed forever, if not for a dash cam recording. Pay attention to the bottom right and you'll see a blurry figure slip under the car in a matter of seconds. Pause the video and you'll see the undeniable outline of a girl from the waist up. She appears to be wearing a white dress and staring ahead with a grey face. I guess this could be light reflecting off of the pavement. But this also really does look like the outline of a person who was once living. Maybe every so often they appear in the exact same location, where they sadly lost their life years ago. Some creepy moments were caught on street cam in a neighborhood believed to be in India. A man on a motorcycle suddenly pulls over and stares at something. Another person looks over their shoulder and gives pause at something unseen as well. At 1 minute and 14 seconds, the man on the motorcycle nods at whatever's approaching, as if asking the man what it is. The second man does not acknowledge what he's seen and keeps walking. Moments later, a small child walks directly up to the motorcycle, and one look at his face sends the man reeling. The rumor is that this child was actually a djinn. I don't know what he said or heard, but it's enough to make him flee without his bike. Maybe he thought he was about to get ambushed and decided to give his bike up first. Or maybe, just maybe, this was a real demon sighting caught on camera after all. If so, then I doubt he ever wants to think about what he saw that night again, let alone tell us. This video was published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in March of 2020. Truthfinder's paranormal experience is more than creepy. It's absolutely terrifying. According to the man in the video, who is holding up note cards to explain his situation, he's a student who moved into a townhouse with two roommates who'd begun to experience odd happenings inside the home. He attempted to capture video evidence, but was unable to until now. 
His roommates also reported strange things occurring. On the night in question, they were out and our friend was home alone in the townhouse. He begins filming upon entering his home. As he's walking around, he starts to hear strange noises, including knocking and then something that sounds like a piece of metal falling on the ground. When he goes to check it out in the kitchen, that's exactly what he finds. A metal ring on the tile floor. It looks like it fell off the light fixture. After going upstairs and putting his keys on his desk, the hall light fixture starts to go nuts, flickering on and off statically. When he turns around facing his room again, something is standing there with a sheet covering it. A human form. He pulls the sheet away to find nothing there. He searches his room to see if there's anything to explain the form. Under his desk in the closet, there's no one there. That is, until he opens his bedroom door to the hallway and again finds this. If this video doesn't creep you out to the max, then you must be su- What's scarier than being home alone when you think you are but you're actually not? Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Amy Dancing Again, the Redditor explains that she was home alone and making a TikTok video when she started hearing noises. She writes, I heard banging noises from the spare room we used for storage. No one else was home and there seems to also be a weird humming noise. The clip appears to be taken in Amy's room. Although faint, you can hear knocking and banging noises in the background. The strange humming sound could be a car passing or some sort of vehicular noise. But as for the banging, who knows? Can you hear that? Amy asks. Yes, Amy, we can. Time to take a leaf out of Macaulay Culkin's book and start setting up some booby traps. Have you ever seen a door slam all on its own? Okay, but have you seen it happen in a creepy underground morgue? Steady Pop published this horrifying video in May of 2017 which begins scary and then escalates even further. As the camera wads into the darkness with a flickering lantern lighting a hallway, strange slamming noises are heard. You might be screaming, don't go down there at your computer screen right now, but the cameraman isn't listening. He walks towards the hallway, and as he gets closer, you can see what's making that slamming noise. It's a red door down at the end of the hallway. It's opening and closing shut on repeat with no end in sight. As the cameraman gets closer and closer, your heart starts beating faster and faster. And then suddenly, the door stops slamming. The lights flicker on and then off completely. When they turn back on again, the cameraman walks over to the door and opens it. Nothing is inside. The cameraman turns down towards the end of the hallway and into the adjacent room, but nothing. Was this the paranormal in action? Or as some in the comments believe, was a fishing line involved? Real or fake, what do you think? It's certainly some interesting footage. This ghost has had a few too many. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Best of Us, here is yet another haunted bar whose resident ghosts' sauced up antics were caught on camera. Watch the bottles to the left of the bar. One bottle on the second shelf starts to nudge toward the edge. While a wet surface sometimes has that effect on items placed on that surface, it usually doesn't lead to this. After inching slowly toward the ledge, the bottle takes a sudden jarring leap knocking a second bottle below it off the display. This doesn't seem like a natural progression. Rather, it seems like the bottle was yanked from the ledge by some unseen entity. Many in the comments relate their own stories of haunted bars, with Redditor Your Dumb Idiot chiming in. I used to work at a bar that was haunted. Always the same bottle thrown off the shelf in the morning despite me moving it to prove it wasn't a ghost. While many, including myself, wonder what these bar ghosts could possibly want from us by throwing bottles around. Redditor Tech Impaired has one theory. He writes, They just wanted some booze. I see what they did there. A person is recording at an old memorial site that is apparently haunted when something gets his attention. 
When they turn back around to record some more, they chance upon a girl dressed in modern clothes with long black hair covering her face and chest. Then she's gone. Something about this video seems natural and unplanned. I will admit that there is somewhat of a delayed reaction during the double take, but maybe whoever was recording could only see it on their screen and not in front of them. Or maybe this video is fake because the girl could have simply ducked out of sight. If the person recording had gone into the building and saw nothing, then I would be satisfied that this video is real. This footage was taken when a team of curious German explorers traveled deep into Africa to talk with a powerful shaman who claimed to have many spiritual gifts. When they asked him to demonstrate what he was capable of to their cameras and to the world at large, the shaman, whose name was Ovaku, decided to dazzle them with this maneuver. The tribe chants a mysterious song of celebration and encouragement as Ovaku hangs suspended in mid-air. This incredible act looks like it's taking a lot of physical strength as well as mental concentration to perform. The shaman is gasping for breath and appears to be struggling hard to stay afloat. When he drops to the ground, he is exhausted and looks like he is about to pass out on the spot. Determining whether this footage is real or not depends on how much you are willing to trust the German explorers. They insist that no lifts or pulleys were used, and they do seem genuinely amazed while filming, but who knows what they were really thinking for sure. I will admit that there doesn't seem to be any strings attached to them during the close-up shots, so maybe the shaman can really levitate after all. The Bastard Arms Pub in Barrytown, Wales is another famously haunted watering hole in the UK. All sorts of strange sightings occur here on the regular, but this one is probably the most convincing. Look at that, oh. it's getting more prominent. It almost looks as though an apparition is literally leaning out of the wall and reaching forward. Tell me if you can see its head, shoulders and arms when I pause the video at the 7 second mark. Then again, I guess this alleged ghost could have been nothing more than a spider web dangling in front of the camera. I wish they would have gone to the camera and checked for any webs or long strings of dust nearby to confirm this possibility. It's the only alternative explanation I have to the paranormal. Unfortunately, we will never know for sure. Unidentified flying devices do exist, posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Yuli Bon. This strange ghostly robot figure was captured on film in Peru. The figure is blue and glowing. It illuminates the night but dims slightly as cars pass on the highway beyond and as it appears to drift further into the distance, Redditor Planet Nile suggests that it's a costume writing. When the brightly lit trucks pass behind it, the camera can't pick it up against those so instead it casts a shadow, which means it's a solid object and not a phantom. Others remark that 3am is witching hour, so who knows, it could be anything. What do you think it is? Renato Garcia claims to have had a paranormal encounter while exploring the house of a witch in Brazil. He finds all these empty bottles carefully arranged in a circle in the middle of the room, possibly for a spell, and then the far door opens all by itself. That's when some really bizarre things are caught on camera, things that are weird but possibly not real. Quick thing. So the door slams shut by itself, which is creepy, but then he says that the bottles fall over by themselves. However, when you play this part in slow motion, you can clearly see his foot kicking them at 1 minute and 21 seconds. It's hard to see because it's dark, but when you look in slow motion you can definitely see his shoe. With over 4 million views and nearly 80,000 likes at the time of this video, I just had to give my honest analysis and say I have my doubts about this one. If he really is faking this part then I have trouble believing the rest of this abandoned house exploration is real. Uncharted Travel is the name of a ghost hunting YouTube channel who goes exploring an abandoned children's mental asylum at 3am. With over 100 years of terrifying history involving cases of neglect and mistreatment, 
This derelict mental asylum is supposed to be one of the scariest and most haunted places in Baltimore. Almost immediately, the ghost hunters think they hear movement coming from upstairs, weird noises that I can just barely hear, kind of like children's footsteps. There's somebody walking upstairs. The creepy sounds are followed by much scarier noises. They go exploring the second floor of the not so abandoned but almost certainly haunted children's mental asylum in search of the scary noises. And that's when their paranormal investigation uncovers a mysterious brick wall sectioning off a part of the asylum with a child sized hole in it. It's a creepy moment for sure and not exactly something you would expect to find at 3am. And maybe it's just me, but this looks like it might be a hidden room with bars behind the brick wall. Across from a children's playroom with two creepy dolls is a holding room with weird drawings on the wall and much higher up, two round holes, perhaps marking where a caretaker lost their temper. They go exploring the rest of the rooms and start to retrace their steps to see if they missed anything. And that's when one of the ghost hunters has a scary moment and comes running back to the group. The door. No, 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 the door just opened by itself. No, no, no. no. Which one? That door just opened by itself. I do believe this part and I'll tell you why. It's because there's an apparition behind them that I bet you didn't even see. As he runs downstairs screaming about a ghost opening the door, a scary ghost faces in the window, eyes and all. It appears again at 28 minutes and 26 seconds, a stretched out ghost face in the window, or perhaps it's their flashlight shining into the dirty glass, I'm not sure which. All I know is a half a minute later all remnants of this bizarre ghost face in the window are completely gone, so I think it could have been a paranormal ghost sighting after all. Also when they go upstairs to test the door that the ghost allegedly opens, they get more paranormal evidence on their equipment. Yeah, you're getting big readings over here, Dan. I wonder why. <laughs> the beeping of their equipment turns into a solid note when they get within close proximity to the door. Notice how this solid note of paranormal evidence happens again when he actually opens the door. Dan, those dolls are in a completely different place from when we last saw them. Coincidentally, this is the same door leading into the children's playroom, and unless the ghost hunters repositioned them, at least one of the two creepy dolls moved by itself since the last time they were in here. So yeah, don't go exploring this abandoned mental asylum at 3am, because apparently you'll see some truly weird things. Kriparian is live streaming some Hearthstone when he gets into a scary Twitch moment that has his subscribers screaming that there's a ghost in the window. The unknown person leaves for a bit and then comes back only to open the door and help himself to something right by the door. Within three seconds, he is gone again. She worries my bag. Where's the bag? Knowledge is... His girlfriend goes out to investigate and finds them with the bag in one of the other rooms. They told her they thought it was theirs, but it's pretty clear from the sarcasm in Kriparian's reply that he doesn't believe them at all. Oh, they thought it was their bag. Oh, yeah. So this is one of the most popular and often talked about scary Twitch moments in the history of the platform and yet a lot of people still don't know the full story. He was at a gaming event and apparently the person at the window was another live streamer who was actually hanging out with them earlier. If you look really closely, he does seem to put his hand up and knock on the glass at 25 seconds to try and get their attention. Nobody hears him though, so rather than disturb the live stream any further, he quietly opens the door and takes what he thought he left behind. I really doubt that anyone would be foolish enough to take something from a popular live streamer who is blatantly live streaming to thousands of people. So it seems like a simple case of miscommunication that was later blown way out of proportion by the internet. 
Night has fallen and Franco TV is re-exploring this potentially haunted cemetery in Florida. Four signs of the paranormal. He doesn't even get through the front door before his flashlight mysteriously stops working, which is exactly what happened when he's come here before, so I think it's probably real. My mag light is not working. It isn't long before he's hearing scary noises and seeing strange shadows that do not belong to him. Eventually, he adds a second night vision camera that he hopes to catch a ghost with. After hearing more creepy noises coming from all over, he focuses across the cemetery and finally captures something weird on camera. I literally just heard a noise down here. In a dark room appears to be a ghostly figure, a woman in a chair with her back turned. The possible apparition does not say anything or react to the light being shined directly on her, which is beyond creepy. By the time he reaches the dark room, it's empty once again. No objects have been moved and the chair is still facing the same direction, like no one was ever there to begin with. Yet Franco is not convinced that he is alone, and rightfully so. I keep freaking hearing stuff out here. The ghost and the ghost hunter continue to play a game of haunted hide and seek until Franco has one last ghost sighting while walking around the perimeter of the cemetery. Hello? Ma'am. Do you need help? Do you need help? She doesn't say a word at him, but this time she does look over twice and then back at a marker, possibly her own. When she turns to him, you can just barely see the outline of a scary face and almost looks like she has empty hollow sockets for her eyes. Yeah. Not doing that. Now here's what I don't understand. Franco finally gets what could be a real ghost sighting on camera, and all he has to do is walk a few meters to get one of the clearest videos of a ghost up close. He could finally be the ghost hunter who proves once and for all that paranormal spirits are real, and yet he just walks away in the opposite direction. I guess he must have been really creeped out to turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity to prove that ghost sightings are real, or maybe this was somebody pretending to be a ghost. Tell me which one you think it was. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you while you slept? The truth is, they might be. A couple in Bucktown, Chicago, discovered an intruder had crept into their home to take their valuables and to watch them creepily as they snoozed on the sofa. He was captured on a security camera gazing at the couple, Jordan and Jack, from the upstairs balcony while they slept below on their couch during a Netflix binge. It was only when Jack said to his girlfriend, why are you at the top of the stairs wearing a white hoodie before we went to bed? And she answered, I wasn't at the top of the stairs, that the pair started to freak out. The intruder stood over them, watching for nearly five minutes the first go around. Then he went back to snooping through the couple's things, only to return and gaze at them for another five minutes. The intruder is believed to have burglarized other neighborhood homes. He managed to get into the house through their bedroom balcony door, which they left open. In fact, he was so light on his feet that the couple's dogs didn't even budge. They slept the whole while at their owner's feet. What valuables did he take? As it turns out, only Jordan's purse. In fact, this was the reason the couple watched the surveillance video in the first place. They'd gotten into an argument about where Jordan had left the purse. Jack suggested she'd forgotten it at the restaurant they'd gone to the previous night. Jordan insisted she'd brought it home. Moral of the story, binge watching Netflix is more unsafe than you'd think. Central State Insane Asylum in Indianapolis has many secrets. Published to YouTube by D Holmes 12345 in October of 2006, this is an orb video. But hold up, don't change the video. While a lot of the times orbs caught on video appear to be faint and dust-like, 
This one is different. The large glowing orb is seen behind a fence at the end of a walkway. The orb hovers and then starts floating to the right. As the man filming backs away, startled. Some in the comments are all in, saying this is what a legit orb looks like. Others are convinced it's a light reflecting off of something. Others note that, while you're distracted by the orb, something peeks out at the door at the beginning of the video. Watch again, do you see it? Considering these two figures appear in just 14 seconds of video, it's pretty clear this asylum is a hotspot for paranormal activity. Did a spirit just drift out of this possessed doll? Published by Paranormal Nightmares in March of 2022, the uploader writes, my daughter said in the night our cat scratched on her bedroom door. He never does this. We checked security footage and captured this. This video shows a strange gray mass floating out from one of these creepy dolls. It looks like smoke or mist. The cat obviously sees it and soon tears off. Did we just witness a spirit exiting? Whatever it is, it made this guy a scaredy cat. This rare Russian creature is being called everything from a mole to a troll. The phone quality is too poor to make out much more than a tiny humanoid hand and a small face. Whatever this is, it doesn't behave much like a mole, which I doubt would stay above ground with two humans so close. Anyway, try to translate this conversation if you can, and let me know if they ever say what kind of creature this is. Quantos aí? Só um. Aí para trás tem mais quantos? Cela quatro e a ala. Bora, bota a cara para cima aí. At the 15 second mark, you can see its hand more clearly, and it does look like it could have a well-developed thumb, which would exclude it from belonging to most species. With that said, I think it could perhaps be a baby possum, which do have opposable thumbs and sometimes like to burrow underground. I could be wrong though, and even after almost 100,000 views, nobody seems to have come up with a concrete answer. Filmed at the Holy Love Apparition site, the video shows two statues in a field backlit by the sun. Those getting the footage get closer to the statues. In the close-up, the statue's eyes appear to be blinking. While it could be an effect on the sunlight, it looks like the statue is legitimately opening and closing its eyes. Of course, there are some believers in the comments, and then there are some doubting the whole incident as well. So YouTubers, is this a miracle, or just an optical illusion? This Aztec wind instrument has been terrifying people for hundreds of years, and you're about to be next. The noise is supposed to replicate your final screams, and is even said to haunt your dreams. Listen to this and tell me how stressed out it makes you, if at all. Here it is again, this time in a professional recording studio to get the full effect. I definitely can hear how this sounds like someone screaming for their life. Can you? This person's nails are just long enough to produce one of the most stressful sounds ever recorded. If you somehow are able to keep from cringing from stress at what I'm about to show you, consider me impressed. Worst of all, judging by these claw marks seen at the very beginning of the video, I think they tend to enjoy making this noise all of the time. A man in India has caught some scary moments on video when this happens to him at 2.22 AM. That could have been done with a string, but this wasn't. Tell me if you think this was real or just acting because it kind of looks like something paranormal actually might have done that to him. Smoke wafted through the yellow line train on January 12, 2015. While it filled the train, commuters waited over 35 minutes for help to escape. The cause is believed to have been an electrical issue in the tunnel. When the issue occurred, it forced commuters on the platform to evacuate. That's when train 302 pulled towards the platform and took off again, but it was so thick the train operator was blinded. He pulled to a stop in the tunnel. The train's fans were pulling smoke inside, 
and firefighters were only dispatched when they received a 911 call about seven minutes later. Meanwhile, the passengers on the train could barely breathe and many got down on the floor. In the raw video of the train, you can see just how bad it is inside the wagon and you can hear people cough while well, most lie or squat on the floor. Over the intercom, they are told to remain calm and not to open the doors. Some called 911 to describe where the train was located so that rescuers could be sent down. Out of the 380 people who were evacuated from the train, 86 were treated, 9 were treated outside the station, and 1 passed away. Paranormal activity was recently caught on video by this family in Pakistan, but I'm not sure if this is a poltergeist or just them throwing things around, so help me decide. Most of the objects come from the corner of the screen and could have been easily thrown by someone off camera. I'm not sure how they made the table come back after it was thrown against the wall, but it doesn't look that heavy so maybe it was on a wire. I guess we'll never know for sure. While this doesn't look like your classic unidentified flying object, it certainly is one. Published by Arte Morbid in April of 2022, this scary video captured something hovering over a street in Mexico City. Security camera footage shows a dark object floating down the center of the street about a foot above the pavement. While the uploader thought it was a Mylar balloon at first, a closer look had him second guessing. He notes that it has a shadow and sometimes moves in a slight rotation. Some of the comments still think it's a Mylar balloon or a drone. Others think it's CGI. One commenter says it looks like it's morphing in and out. Do you have any other theories? I think there's certainly something mysterious going on here. A YouTuber named The Modern Mombi is sipping her coffee while pumping gas while she notices someone watching her get into her car. She lets it slide until she sees him looking at her again. But yeah, he keeps peeping us. She is making a video probably in the hopes that it will make him too ashamed to continue. But he looks straight at her and seems to smirk. It's a weird and creepy expression that he has no excuse to keep making if they are strangers. Maybe he thinks he recognizes her, but if that were the case, staring at her instead of saying hello is rude and suspicious to say the least. Then again, maybe the camera is the only thing keeping him from being more intrusive. He eventually gets in the car and drives away. That's when she realizes she's in her work uniform and hopes he won't be staring at her sometime soon at her job. An office worker is sitting quietly at her desk when she throws down her phone at 1 minute and 18 seconds, which begins to flare up and sizzle. She leans over the device to clear her desk at 1 minute and 25 seconds, which I don't think was the right decision. If the battery pops here, her face is in direct range. They all gather around the broken phone and record it in case something else happens. It continues to sizzle from the middle of the screen, but other than that, it looks strangely fine. Try and translate what they are saying here if possible. Sidestep Adventures is surprised to actually find what he's been looking for out in the Georgia woods. You stepped on it. Oh wow. There it is. Another person's grave. They carefully reassemble it and respectfully read her name out loud. Yep, there it is, sacred to the memory of Mrs. Jane. And died November 3rd, 18. 
43. Under the heavy marker, they find a crushed bouquet of flowers left by a loved one. The petals are in excellent condition and largely retain their color. Finding fresh flowers under a more than 100-year-old grave is already weird enough, but then Sidestep Adventures reads more and realizes who this Mrs. Jane is to him. And Stacy Duckworth and Samuel were my great, great, great grandparents. So she was actually a half sister to my great, great grandfather. So let's recap. He literally stumbles across an extremely concealed grave in the middle of the woods. Fresh flowers are underneath despite the grave being from 1843. Then he discovers it's a long lost relative and has to admit that this seems like it could be fate. Well, we did find it somehow. I tell you, if you hadn't stepped on it, we wouldn't have. It's almost as if the spirit of his ancestor was waiting to be found. Redditor asserted skirted motion-activated cameras detected motion in the middle of the night, but it isn't something I've ever seen before. Keep an eye on the bottom of the garage door. Here it is again, more slowly. Something appears to slip beneath the garage door, but it looks like a shadow. My guess would be that this is an unknown shadow entity. The way the shadow reaches out is even tentacle-like. What do you think it is? A London YouTuber named King of Bongo is trying to explore the Queen's Hotel while staying one step ahead of a security guard. Down one of the dirty halls is a formation that King of Bongo suspects could be the Grim Reaper himself. It looks like it's sitting down facing him with its skeletal hands folded patiently across its lap. But here at 2 minutes and 14 seconds, I feel like it could be an illustration caused by three objects stacked together, maybe chairs. He hurries down three flights of steps and is searching for an exit when he hears this mystery noise coming from a few rooms over. You and I both heard something near, but a quick glance reveals only these empty rooms. King of Bongos finally meets up with his friend and explains that they are being followed. They hear footsteps that are very light and moving at a good pace towards them. Wait, there's someone else in here. There's someone else in here. Go. Just go. Just go. Here's the thing though, a security guard would probably announce themselves and ask if anyone was there. That never happened. So was it the security guard or was it whatever it was that he thought he saw down the hall? A YouTuber named AG is playing with her phone on the floor when her CCTV system records a bizarre and possibly paranormal display behind her. The strangely shaped phantom consists of little more than two arms and a head. The face is simply a single eye in the middle, almost like it's looking at her from the side. The video itself looks a little pixelated, so I guess this could be special effects, or maybe even the brief reflection of something against the wall, though of what I cannot say. Stranger still is how, out of everywhere else in the room, it appears directly behind her, almost like it's self-aware and choosing to do so. A paranormal investigator named Ankur Kashyap knows of a spooky house nearby that's as haunted as it is abandoned, or so the local legends say. He and his friends wait until after dark to explore the house, to avoid getting caught and to increase their odds of getting a real ghost sighting on camera. They sneak over the gate and are too busy filming an introduction to notice their first paranormal encounter of the night in the form of a yellow ghost orb. Translate this part if you can because I feel like whatever he says is what gets the attention of the spirit world. So, I'm going to my friend in colony and I'm going to a haunted house. Pe. Ye wala haunted house mein dost nikhil ke. And look, Ankur even subconsciously leans away seconds before the orb touches him, almost like some part of him senses an unwanted presence is near. Meanwhile, a pair of oversized eyes of something, possibly a ghost in the window, appear at 2 minutes and 51 seconds as they head through a basement entrance. Down this creepy, narrow hallway is a hidden room that seems out of place and has no reason to be here. Something about the discovery freaks them out and they decide not to see what other secret rooms this small space holds. 
Instead, they go straight to the center of the house and perform some kind of ghost summoning ceremony with candles. Towards the end of the ritual, they sense a spirit slip into the room with them and a mysterious shadow moves over them, or perhaps even through them, while at the same time the camera refuses to go back into focus. It's creepy, but I don't know why the camera person doesn't look over to get the ghost on camera. He misses the moment, so it's not exactly the best paranormal evidence ever, but the random moving shadow is pretty bizarre. And there's still one more odd encounter left. The group is soon surprised to find that the door refuses to budge, even though it's clearly unlocked. So either they are faking this movement, or else the haunted house is seriously refusing to let them leave. Just when the ghost hunters are getting anxiety and really starting to panic. <laughs> A ghost slams a door in the distance, something has left the building, and the place feels abandoned once more, at least for the time being. Their door is no longer locked and so the perplexed paranormal explorers take the hint and quietly let themselves out. They could have been pretending that the door was locked, however the ghost orb, the moving shadow, and the ghost slamming a door is all evidence of the paranormal in my opinion. Fisherman's Chronicles gets a catch while kayaking in the San Francisco Bay, but you'll never guess what he's caught on camera, or rather what's caught him. Oh my that's a fish on. That's a fish on. Oh my god, there's a big fish on. I got a big fish on. Oh, this is this is a halibut is for a shark keeper. He thinks he's hooked a halibut, but it's much worse than that. A stingray. Its whipping tail is like a serrated needle that will mess you up in seconds flat. He has to get the hook out of its mouth fast while avoiding the tail. Wow, look at got a good view of that. This guy's trying to sting me. Nothing new for him. He's caught hundreds of them before, but I guess everyone can make a mistake. The tail connects and a barbed wire feeling races up his arm. Now he has to get the hook out with the ray in his lap. And he's lucky it doesn't take a chunk out of his thigh here at 7 minutes and 17 seconds. They do have razor sharp teeth. He gets to a hospital as fast as he can and this is the end result. Well, I had to row like half a mile back to the kayak uh, launch with a stingray tail like sticking out of my arm. It's healed up nicely since and he doesn't have any nerve damage to speak of, but it's not something I would ever want to go through and I hope he never does again. He's lucky it wasn't higher up and nicked an artery. Also, I just wanted to commend him for not getting angry at the stingray for defending itself. He focuses on getting the hook out of the stingray first before getting help for himself. Uh, I still want to release this guy as fast as possible. I think everyone's first instinct is to throw it back into the water, so this must have taken an incredible amount of self-restraint. A group of friends are roaming around an old English house that's rumored to be quite haunted. Unlike most of the other videos on this list, they are able to get upstairs and quickly start opening every door they can find. Then they come across one door in particular that they swear they've already opened before. I studied this video for a while and I can say that this door was definitely open before. When they open the door here at 11 minutes 27 seconds, you can see a circuit box with a yellow sticker in the bottom corner of the room. You can briefly see the same circuit box here at 8 minutes 14 seconds. This means that the door was definitely open just 3 minutes earlier. They aren't sure what to make of this discovery and decide to run away. Maybe they were faking surprise. Or maybe one of the friends closed the door as a prank, but something tells me that this was probably paranormal. Let me know if you agree. For the love of all that is holy, look out behind you. Posted to TikTok by Haunting Facts, this TikToker is dancing in a parking garage and doesn't seem to realize that something is watching. And not only watching, it's coming closer. Watch closely as the TikToker performs her choreography. After moving to the right, a figure is 
seen creeping up behind her. He is so close that he could reach out and touch her. The figure looks like a man with his back facing the girl. Unaware, she jumps to the left and the figure is again blocked from view. This man went unseen earlier in the clip. You don't see him approach even though the girl starts dancing further back from the camera. Where did this guy come from? Did he just materialize out of thin air? And what does he want? Some TikTokers say he's obviously Batman, while others are having trouble seeing the figure at all. But Sydney's having no trouble. She writes, Bro, I saw it and it actually gave me a little heart attack. Sounds like Sydney might need a break from the scary videos. This woman found her toy doll in a disturbing state, so she contacted YouTuber Luan Mendez to help her. <laughs> Shared by YouTube channel Blah Blah, this video is trending in the Arabic speaking YouTube community. After these guys come to take a look, they find this cellar. They hear something banging on the lid. So they climb in to investigate. Cuidado. The doll of horror is inside, but after stepping away from the horror doll for a minute, this happens. Ah, boneca tá do mesmo jeito. Ai, ai! Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca, Pia? Que que foi? Cadê a boneca? Cadê a boneca? Tá aqui agora? Pô, ela tava ali, irmão, ó. It disappears. Where did the doll go? Was it possessed by something? Or did some slick soul do this to her? I have a theory. I think the doll was being used as a voodoo doll. That still doesn't explain where it disappeared to. But have no fear. The horror doll always returns. Whoa. Although you and I were probably not hoping for an encore for this one. This dash cam footage was taken on a busy road somewhere in India. Nothing looks out of the ordinary until a tiny object performs a bizarre aerial maneuver while hovering above the road. The saucer-shaped object appears to somehow stop and change directions mid-flight. Somehow, none of the oncoming motorists in the other lanes seem to notice, which I think is odd, but maybe it all happened too fast for them to see. If not, then I think this dashcam video might be a fake, but I'm curious to hear your opinion. Three bankers have a conversation during a slow day when the silhouette of a child darts across the empty lobby. Watch this part and try to translate what is said immediately after. <laughs> The lobby area gets plenty of sunlight, and yet the figure looks completely covered by shade. Not a single detail is visible as it runs by, which makes this CGI or a shadow person. And when they go over to where it just was, nothing is there at all. You never hear the door open or any footsteps. It's simply gone. Avery is almost two years old. He's happily babbling away in the kitchen when his mother starts to feel a strange presence. This has happened a few times before, so she decides to start recording. Normally, her child is very quiet, but every once in a while, he will become very active and start having a conversation with someone who neither of his parents could see. Who are you talking to? Oh. 
Avery's mother finds this behavior very perplexing, so she starts to ask him over and over who he is talking to. Finally, after the third or fourth time, she gets a sinister reply. Who are you talking to? Her child looks over his shoulder, almost as if someone is there. When he turns his back to her, a raspy voice says, Ryan. Listen again with the sound up if you don't hear it. I guess this voice could be coming from Avery, but it sounds like it's coming from someplace much closer, almost right next to the camera. It almost sounds like a slightly different voice than Avery's. Maybe Ryan is a ghostly pal who is looking to make a new friend. According to YouTubers, most who've watched this video arrive there by typing in a random emoji into the search bar. That may be because the video shows a woman replacing her prosthetic eye. At the start of the video, the woman's eyes look nearly identical. The coloring is the exact same. In fact, I'd be surprised if you knew without reading the title that one of these eyes is fake, and I'd highly doubt that you could guess the real from the prosthetic. That's how good prosthetic eyes are in this day and age. But what happens next will make you question everything. The smiling woman holds open the bottom lid of her left eye, and after a little bit of finicking, the eye slides right out. All that remains is the eye socket. The woman then shows you her prosthetic, which is really just the front half of an eyeball. It is concave and empty behind. She replaces it in her eye by inserting it up behind her upper lid and then pulling her lower lid out to wrap around the bottom of the prosthetic. The eye is now back in place. She demonstrates its movement, and while it doesn't show as wide a range of circulation as a regular eye, it's certainly impressive what modern technology has done to improve visual prosthetics. Timothy Bartlett is exploring a water park that's haunted by a former guest named Billy. Hi, is anybody here? Hi, Billy. I'm here. Things are about to get real creepy real fast. Watch. Could you move something again for me? Oh. Holy sh A chair moves on its own accord upon Timothy's request for Billy the Ghost to move an object and prove himself to be real. Paranormal activity is possible, but the low quality resolution could easily hide a string if there was one. This was not done on purpose as the resolution is average quality for a 2012 phone camera video, so maybe it's real. A Spanish-speaking YouTube channel called Fearless Omar Crew pairs up with Ricky Velasquez to track down what they are calling the most cursed witch in the world. Silently watching from within a hideout in the middle of the woods is a dark figure. Their high-powered survival flashlight does nothing to brighten its face, even when shined directly in the window. They should run away screaming for help then and there because, I mean, nobody wants to get a curse after all. But the group decides to go on the offensive and confront whoever or whatever is inside. Waiting for them is this creepy doll pointing their way. Again, running away and getting help seems like the smartest possible option at this point, but they instead walk around while actually holding the doll, checking every hiding spot possible. Then they hear this disembodied voice in an area that they just looked in moments before. Can you do this? I think it might be the witch taunting them further. Perhaps the doll was not pointing at them earlier, but rather at someone behind them. Anyway, as they are trying to make sense of the situation, this noise scatters their thoughts. If you speak Spanish, please give us a rundown on their conversation before this happens as well as their reaction after. <laughs> That absolutely sounded like a cackle of a witch taking enjoyment in their fear, or at least a woman who lost her mind long ago. 
Maybe whoever was laughing was also placing a powerful curse on them both, one that I hope does not extend to me and you. Translated from Portuguese, the video's title, The Bride of the Train Line, gives us some inclination of what fears to expect. Published to YouTube by Ravana in July of 2017, a group of adventure seekers are wandering down a train track at night. For a long while, they walk without encountering anything unusual. In the darkness, there's no one for miles around. City lights twinkle in the distance, but the group appears to be far from town. As they walk and chat carelessly along the train tracks, the camera pans to the side for a moment, where it captures this figure in white. <laughs> Terrified screaming ensues as the men turn to run back the way they came. The bride figure 2 appears to race away from the tracks, presumably back to her haunted wedding. Does this deter you from jumping trains at night? If not, then you might be next in line to catch the ghostly bridal bouquet. A man is riding down a poorly lit Indian highway when they barely avoid a pedestrian who is staggering in the middle of the road. Yet when he turns around seconds later, the man is nowhere to be found. Now he is determined to find the man again. He turns back around and retraces his steps for almost a full minute, then he realizes he's all gone grows extremely uncomfortable and speeds away. The only non-paranormal explanation I have is that maybe the pedestrian got scared and hid when he saw the motorcycle turn back around. Let me know if you think that's what happened, or if this was a genuine highway ghost encounter. Is he on the stairs? Is he standing there? Yes. Where? That's the reaction of a YouTuber's daughter when asked to identify the man on the stairs. Her mom is very curious and wants to know more about what her daughter thinks she is seeing. Where's the man? Where? Man. Show mama where's the man. Man stares, her daughter says in a tiny British accent. It would almost be cute if the paranormal implications weren't so terrifying. After all, she is talking about being watched by a stranger in their own living room. As the video continues, you can tell the girl becomes more afraid to look up from her toys. She obviously does not want to see the man by the stairs anymore. Though I have no idea what he looks like or what he's doing, the girl does not seem to be smiling or showing any other signs of making up a story, so I am inclined to believe this potential ghost sighting could be real. Let me know if you agree or not. While investigating an old schoolhouse, this group's trail camera caught this unexplained happening. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Key Consequence 7618 explains what we're looking at here here. We had come from the first classroom walking towards the second classroom. This is a light in the doorway on the left just as the board jumps up. The board that he's talking about is a piece of plywood set in a doorway. It shudders long after they've entered the room, so it can't be a reverberation of the crew having walked on it. Further, as the Redditor said, a strange light appears in the window of the door, as if someone that was standing there left at that very moment. Although the Redditor says he and another member of his crew were the only two people in the house, it looks like they weren't alone. If you've ever had something in your home act out of character, then you might feel Alex Huff's pain. The TikToker appears to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial when her wardrobe starts to creak open. I use the Milani 05 Soleil. So I'm gonna try that on. And, um, and then suddenly slams shut and bursts open again. The room's light above goes out and then, as she's peering into the wardrobe, that light falls dim as well. Alex posted a second video showing that no one is inside or outside the wardrobe and yet it's creaking again. In the third video, she's getting her room sage to get rid of whatever evil entity lies within. Burning sage is said to provide a spiritual cleansing for the home. 
Hopefully it did rid of the bad energy, and Alex can go back to doing her makeup tutorials in peace. Based on the events happening here though, I wouldn't be surprised if that house is legitimately haunted. Jonathan Savo published this video in January 2015. After visiting his girlfriend in a Paris hospital, he wrote that a woman in the next bed was roaring and screeching with the voice of a devil, and that's what the video captures. The woman is seen lying flat in a bed, speaking in a raspy, evil voice. She is harassing the couple, calling them tacky and ugly, and telling them they're all going to die. Although you can only see her profile in the video, and you can't see her mouth moving, what you can see is her chest rising and falling as she delivers her angry tirade of insults and threats. She then says she's going to call her mafia friend, after which she claims she's going to remove her IV drip so they can get out of the hospital. That's where the clip ends, leaving us wondering if the woman did in fact try to escape. But John doesn't leave us hanging. In his own words, he wrote, I was no longer filming when she or it started to get up and wanted to take the life of a person sitting next to her. Five nurses came in to stop her, and we were asked to leave the room quickly. What happened next, John doesn't know. Prior to this experience, John says he was skeptical about demonic possessions and everything related to them. But after seeing one in the flesh, He's a believer. Here's another strange sewer grate video that's worth mentioning. Huh? I have no idea what is making these high-pitched noises, and apparently neither does this person. The bleeding quiets down and then starts up again. Everything from toads to alarm systems have been proposed, but I have never heard an alarm system that makes that noise or any other piece of equipment on Earth for that matter. If whatever is making that noise is alive, then I hope they are not suffering. What you discover when out late at night can make your skin crawl. Posted to Reddit, the Redditor writes, People are saying it could be a skinwalker. The on-screen caption reads, Something weird is happening in my town. And after watching the video, you'll agree with that statement. The video begins with something hopping on all fours over a hill while roaring in an animalistic manner. It's hard to tell what the thing is at a distance, human or animal. The second clip in the series reads, Dude, something is in the shed at Desert Willow, and it certainly sounds like it. Something is beating against the barred doors of a shed at night. There's also a terrifying growling voice heard, though its words are inaudible. It's difficult to tell if the thing is human, but it continues to beat at the walls of the shed. Part 2 of the video series reads, Stay away from Dynamite Park. In it, barking, howling, and wailing are heard. It doesn't sound like a dog, nor does it sound human. Again, the video captures an unidentified creature at a distance, racing around on all fours. Could this be a skinwalker? Don't stick around to find out. Nevertheless, it appears some serious mysteries are taking place in that town. Okay, so this isn't a video per se, but it was too eerie to pass up. This was recorded around 10 years ago in a home in Philadelphia. The family kept hearing noises coming from the basement, so they decided to hire a paranormal team who placed a recorder down there and waited. Nothing happened for three days, and then, at 3.12 a.m., they recorded this. The horrible recording continues to go on and on, seemingly forever. No video evidence was ever produced, but these possibly paranormal screams will continue to live on YouTube for years to come. 
Sosa 37 posted this spooky video of her dog in 2017. In the description of the video, she wrote, They always say animals can see spirits. My dog was barking at nothing in the room. She wasn't looking at the TV screen. And you can see her move her head suddenly at the 9 second mark. At first, it appears as though the dog is perhaps barking at her own reflection in the television in front of her, but it becomes clear that the dog is looking at something to the right of the TV. And then, as the YouTuber noted, the dog jerks its head suddenly and jumps up, looking above the television. <coughs> She starts growling and barking more as she gazes upwards. The camera scans where she is looking off to the side of the room, and there's absolutely nothing there. The dog then gets up from its seated position, continuing to growl and bark, and looking still at a spot to the right of the TV. The dog is acting aggressively and defensively, and although her owner remains calm and asks the dog what's wrong, only she seems to know that something is very wrong. What is she seeing in the void? Thank you so much for getting me to 40,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Can you help me reach 50,000 subscribers? Thank you.